It's an absolute pleasure to be here in the studio of Mike Thiebridge, whose artworks focus on the human expression and peeling back through emotional layers. This is an absolute honor to meet you, mate, and I'd love to talk to you about this amazing piece of artwork behind us. So, thank you for having us, and please, enlighten us about your artworks. Yeah, cheers, thank you, welcome. Um, so this is one of my latest pieces. Uh, it's one of the biggest paintings I've ever made. It's actually three sections um, stitched together. Um, so the piece, I mean, the title is on the piece. There is so much in my head. It I'm in the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll sit down, sorry, there we go, yeah, I'm out of the cool. way, love it. The title really speaks about what is going on with all of the works, trying to describe what is going on inside people's heads and um, what a mystery and what an abstract mess of different pieces we are as human beings, part physical and part you know, mind, body, soul. Um, Mostly cluttered, isn't it? It feels very cluttered, yeah. the way your works are. That's not oh, a yeah. diss on your studio. <laughs> your studio is lovely, I love it. So you work in this studio at Wimbledon Art Studios. Yeah, yeah, well, I've been here, I've been in this space for about five years. Um, this was my first studio, actually. Um, I live also in Ukraine and I have a studio space there. I uh, also like to travel around a bit. I was just in Sicily for a month um, oh, where wow. I did a lot of these smaller works and was drawing and painting there and getting ideas and, you know, new spaces bring new ideas. But this is where I always come back to make, you know, stick it all together, frame it up, <laughs> put it on the wall. Absolutely, it's great. So what drew you into this initial idea of actually discovering and peeling back through the human layers? Because you talk about like the cluttered mind and the chaos. What is it that really drew you into that to start with? Yeah, I guess it's, um, it's my experience as a human. I've always had trouble trying to understand, you know, what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling or, or why I'm kind of, why I do what I do and why anyone does what, what they do. But trying to understand myself, um, certainly growing up was really difficult and trying to get, express my emotions and, you know, kind of affected how I was kind of socially. Um, so then I was kind of drawn into exploring things like meditation and paying attention to your thoughts. And when you start to do that, you, you realize things just appear out of nowhere and you're not in control of your own mind. Um, and this is an expression of that. And it's partly, you know, working, I guess, a bit from the subconscious, but working from life as well and trying to marry all these ideas of um, the internal and the external world. Absolutely, that's brilliant. So this is what you're currently working on. Where do you see your artworks going in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the future, it's definitely going to stick with this kind of collaging of physical pieces because um, some of the older works were collage based and I was bringing together images on the same surface and then I started working on different surfaces, different pieces of paper and cutting them up and tearing them up and stitching them together, different pieces of fabric and canvases and, and stretching them. Um, yeah, it's only going to get more chaotic, <laughs> more That's surreal. Right. Well, we love chaos. I yeah. mean, chaos in the art world is really what drives it forward, isn't it? It's what makes it so enjoyable. Yeah. No, that's absolutely fantastic. I love your artworks. They're absolutely amazing. You also work with uh, miniature artworks as well and like the really, really small paintings and drawings. Can you tell us about the contrast between that and your large scale pieces? Yeah, of course. Um, so the smaller pieces actually I guess they're like a journey of the process. So I usually start small with ideas. This is what these kind of A5 pieces are. And then I'll grow the ideas into the larger paper pieces and then they'll make it onto canvas. But the really tiny ones are actually little kind of snippets. So if I'm just testing out a small section or if there's uh, a drawing that I really hate and I just like a, sec a tiny section, I'll cut that out and frame it. And it gives, uh, it gives people the opportunity to enjoy my work, to have a very small piece of miniature original art and people can enjoy it. You know, maybe you can't afford the bigger piece or you don't have space for a bigger piece, but you just want to help support, then this is this is a way to do it. And it's, you know, it's part of the journey towards the bigger pieces. That's fantastic. That is really inspiring for you to actually make your artwork more affordable to the average Joe and art students as well. I mean, I'm starting to collect more and more artworks yeah. and it's it's so great to actually discover more affordable artworks. And that's what's great about Wimbledon Art Shows. How do you find they actually support you with your works? Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, this art fair has been going on uh, uh, many years since before I was here. Um, I've been here for about five years, as, as I mentioned. Um, and I mean, it's great. They've got a strong community and, uh, uh, you know, there's a whole community of artists here, but there's a whole community of art lovers that the studios has a relationship with and brings people in every year. People have been coming 
to the fair for years and years and they've come and seen artists come and go and grow their careers and you know move up into bigger studios and onto bigger things um yeah so it's amazing it's a great place to be a part of um, yeah that's absolutely fantastic thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us and it's been a pleasure meeting you yeah, thank you very much thank you. <clears throat> and then you can walk around and talk through some of your works as well if you want okay i wasn't talking you're gonna have to redo it i'm sorry because <laughs> the audience I, I'm tired. Why is it? Wrong way. So you got to twist it the other direction.